Okay guys, I'm back and now let's see the aftermath of that massacre on Ongas. Shields sat at his office. While he had been held captive for less than 48 hours, it felt like an eternity had passed since he had last sat in this chair. Admiral Gray spoke through the calm. Captain, you have my sincerest apologies for, your, for our security lapse. It was our responsibility to protect you during your inspection, and we failed. Shields closed his eyes. Tell me, Admiral, how many civilians died during my rescue? We do not have an exact figure. You've seen it yourself. On Ongas, the line between civilian and combatant is not clear. We even have some reports that gods as young as seven have been recruited to fight with Cosette's cutthroats. We did manage to neutralize 32 insurgents, however. Did you find the girl as one of them? I have no idea what you mean. I saw your men gun down a girl who couldn't have been more than a... I saw your men gun... Sorry, guys. I saw your men gun down a girl who couldn't have been more than 10 years old. All because she happened to pick up a little knife. I'm sorry, Captain, but urban fighting leads to collateral damage. This is only the beginning. The people of Ongas will treat you as an occupier, not a liberator. You can offer them all the aid you have. You can promise them freedom and democracy. But as long as you mine their Ongasite, you will always be one of their enemies. <sighs> Very well, Captain. You've made your point. We shall conduct an internal investigation. <sighs> Sorry. I will not have it said that I allowed one of my men to gun down a little girl. An internal investigation? That's it? Yes, Captain. We've got to do more. Captain. Let me be frank with you. There are those in the Alliance who do not agree with what we're doing here. I saw some of the ads the pro Progress Party were running against me just earlier. They accused me of being an Emperor, of plundering Ongas for its oil. But the only difference between the Admiral and the Venisar? One of them's running for office, they say. The Progress Party fears that I seek to end civilian control of the military, and frankly, many voters do as well. If any negative press of what we're doing on Ongas got out, the Progress Party may win this election. They'll shut down the aid project here on, on here on Ongas. Not only that, but we'll lose our only supply of high-grade fuel in the war. The consequences would be catastrophic both for Angus and for the war. You must understand, word of this incident must be kept quiet. <laughs> I... <coughs> and that's the thing, guys. <sighs> that little girl died basically for nothing. And that hits me personally hard. It's close to home. I promise I will see to it that those responsible are dealt with appropriately. But I will not. But it will, will all be handled by my office. Nothing more. You want to cover this up? For this once, I'll let him handle the situation because Pact must be stopped. Just know that if this was real life, I'll, I'd tell him, yeah, 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 you handle the situation. And the next thing I'd do, I would go to Ava and have a secure channel open to some press, uh, press office. <laughs> All right, there's not much, there's too much at stake here. I trust you will handle the situation, Admiral. Very wise, Captain. Do not fear. 
I will get to the bottom of what happened, and they will have no future in the Alliance fleet. I will see to that. Thank you, sir. As for your ship, I am relaying additional funds and supplies as an apology for our security lapse. We will win this war to restore prosperity to Ongas and to the rest of the galaxy. I promise the blood of the civilians which was spilled today was not will not be in vain. Of course, Admiral, I will think of them as well as I fight to stop Pact. That is all, Captain. Needless to say, as of now, this conversation never took place. Sir? I don't like cover up like this. Come in. Captain? As your liaison officer, I offer you my humblest apologies, sir. It was my responsibility to protect you during the inspection, and in that regard, I have failed. I will accept whatever punishment you deem fit. At ease, Lieutenant. No, the inspection let me see a lot of things. Sir? And that's the thing. There are no grayscales here, it's all absolutes. <laughs> thing is, as I said in my other video, I see the good that the Alliance is doing on Ongas. I really see it. And I think that Ongas really needs the Alliance to, to heal. So all I can say is, they need the Alliance. We have to stop Cassette and her gang together. Our relief efforts are being sabotaged by Cosette and her gang's terrorist activities. They seek to destabilize this world and turn it into a pirate haven. The Alliance will not will tolerate tolerate no such such actions. One day the people of Ongas will have peace and security. But that will not be accomplished as long as maniacs like Cosette are at large. I want her stopped, dead or alive. With much, with much pleasure, Captain. Once the pirates who merely want to profit from the sad situation have been eliminated, we will rebuild a new Angus. Wrong voice. Once the pirates who merely want to profit from the sad situation have been eliminated, we will rebuild a new Angus. One where the, such tragedies will not occur. Report to the commander. She wishes a detailed report of what transpired at Angus. That will be punishment enough for the security lapse. Understood, sir. Thank you, sir. You are dismissed, Lieutenant. Captain! You killed me! I can't imagine having bad dreams after such a thing. Shields jolted upright on his chair. He had fallen asleep on his paperwork. Oh. Shields rubbed his eyes and stretched his back. He went downstairs to the bathroom and splashed a handful of water on his face. His own reflection stared back at him. Did I make the right decision? I'm coming! Shields went back upstairs and opened the door. C Captain! I came here as soon as my shift ended. I was so scared when I heard you were taken prisoner. It's all right. I was hardly even gone for two days. Still, did they hurt you? Nah, nothing the Alliance couldn't patch up. It was all just minor bumps and scratches, that's all. Captain, don't leave me ever again. I was so worried I thought I was going to faint. Shields put his arms around Chigara. Don't worry, I'm all right. I'm all right. He's not all right. Who would be after something like that? Tch, the damn bastard got away. We should just shoot him. 
We should have just shot him while we had the chance. Sir, we're getting an FDL transmission. A message? Put it through. Cosmos, how are things? Piss poor. The captain's giving us a loop, and the line stuck itself in deep. I'm relaying you a battle plan. Study it carefully. Oh? I thought you guys had left us for dead after the ass whooping the Alliance gave, the f gave your fleet last week. This is a personal mission, shall we say. Lone wolfing? Such individuality from a rat. Huh. So, what's in it for us if we help you out? I can give you exactly what you've wanted all those years. Independence for Ongas once and for all. Okay, that doesn't bode well. Different music is in order. Warp signatures detected, Captain. It's another packed scout ship. Status? Hovering out of range. That's the 15th one this past week. Pact must be planning something. They know most of the combined fleet stationed at Ongus. Most likely they want to chase us to, as to chase their scouts, so a strike fleet can whip, warp in and hit the Alliance ships while they are refueling. Maintain our position. If Pact manages to slip a ship past us, they'll ignite the Ongusites. Ongusite being stored on our docks and wipe out the entire combined fleet. Hey, Captain. I feel like we're swimming in the middle of a minefield. We are, Lieutenant. There's enough liquid ungesite in orbit around the planet to blow us all the way back to Farport. Ava, any intel on their, command on their new commander? Vanessa Fontana. He's quite young considering his position at the top of the packed chain, co chain of command. Despite his age, he's seen as, a, as a Arcadius' right-hand man. Brilliant, just as he is deadly. He is a phone not to be trifled with. Crushing the enemy commander's a ca Crushing on... <clears throat> Crushing on the enemy's commander's a capital offense, commander. Captain. Ahem. Also, I believe one of our crew may have encountered him in the past. Oh? I believe Asaga briefly met him while she was captured. What does she say? You can imagine. Oh, that guy. He was actually pretty good looking for a rat. <laughs> not quite helpful. Regardless, he is far more fearsome. He is a far more fearsome foe than anyone we've encountered in the past. We should not underestimate him. Alright, thanks for the advice. Okay. That guy wanted to, to He wanted to transfer funds to us as a compensation. He did not. I could have used those funds. Come again soon. Okay, new music. That sounds better. Captain, we have a situation. Report. We just picked up a new warp signature. A pirate fleet has just warped in high orbit around Angus. Red alert! Power our weapons and prepare to launch. Prepare to launch our riders. Should have figured Cosette would show her face sooner or later. Size? The largest pirate fleet we've seen yet. We never thought they could organize something that large. They must have pulled in ships from over 15 different crime rings. The packed fleet is closing in as well. It seems they were waiting for the pirates to fill their ranks. We are receiving a transmission from the packed fleet. Put it through. Captain Shields, a pleasure to finally meet you. I am Venator B. Fontana of the Crimson Fleet. I am here to retrieve the princess and end your occupation of Angus. I'm afraid that wedding's been annulled. Something about shooting the father-in-law dead during the wedding. Unfortunate. 
then it appears I have no choice but to take her by force. Not so fast, Fontana. We already took care of your friend. Uh, what was his name? The big guy with the mustache. And you're coming at us with less than half the ships he did. There's no way you're going to win this. <laughs> Kalin was a mere fool and a stain, a stain to our cause. His imperial des decadence made him weak-willed and cowardly. You will find my fleet weak quite different, Captain. Numbers are irrelevant where tactics are concerned. <coughs> That's my line. <laughs> I'm eager to finally cross cannons with the vanguard of, of Farport. Prepare yourself. That's enough of Venice are fabulous. Ava, put the, put the situation on screen. Aye, sir. We have the packed fleet approaching here. The pirate fleet approaches from the bottom. Our forces have been stretched out in a perimeter around our docks. A pincer attack, huh? The packed fleet must have been biding its time, waiting for backup to arrive. They're going... They're going to hit a single point on our perimeter to break through and detonate the ungesite in our docks. The Alliance fleet will merge their forces here to meet the two fleets. But even then, over half our ships won't be able to fire on the enemy fleets by the time they hit the perimeter. Our only hope is to hold the combined enemy fleet until the remaining Alliance ships have until the Alliance ships have arrived. Understood, Captain. All hands, this is the captain speaking. Assume combat stations. Scramble all our riders. It's a moment we've been waiting for. Remember your training and make us proud. And here I'll make a cut, guys. See you next week. <laughs>